So in this video, I wanna share with you the top three niches that I believe you should look into if you're starting. And I'm sharing these three niches because you can find these at mostly any thrift store in America. These are very large categories. And these categories, I believe, have really good opportunities to grow and scale past 1,000 a month, up to 3,000, 5,000, even $10,000 a month, depending on where you live. Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com, coming back to you with another video. And in this video, I wanna address a comment that came in recently on my YouTube channel asking, Steve, I'm just getting started going to thrift stores and reselling on eBay. I wanna make $1,000 a month. Where do I start? When I walk into a thrift store, I'm so confused. There's so many different things that I could buy from, you know, there's pictures, there's glassware, there's clothing, there's books, there's board games, there's puzzles, there's kids stuff, there's shoes, there's so many different sections. Where should I start? So let's talk about these three niches. So the three niches that I wanna discuss are number one, in no particular order, clothing. Clothing is one of the, probably takes up the most space in all thrift stores. It's a massive category. Not only is there men's clothing, but there's women's clothing, there's kids clothing, there's all different types of clothing from tops and shirts and t-shirts and you could even consider hats and shoes you could even consider shoes like to be in the clothing category in a sense um you know there's ties there's blazers there's sport coats there's suits there's kids items there's seasonality items clothing is huge and it's very overwhelming for the average reseller so that leads to just many opportunities and a lot of really profitable clothing items fall through the cracks they absolutely fall through the cracks because there's only so much that these workers at thrift stores can know right? And making money at a thrift store is all about finding something undervalued and then selling it for, you know, market value. Clothing is a great opportunity. At one point I was doing over six to $7,000 a month just selling clothing. Clothing is a great opportunity. When you start clothing though, dive into a specific sub niche. So don't just start selling kids and then women's and then men's and sport coats and shoes. Like choose one thing. If you're going to choose shoes, dive into men's shoes or dress shoes or dive into sports coats or dive specifically into women's jeans. Pick one thing, learn it, master it, and then move on from that. You could find so many profitable clothing items. And again, clothing is just, it's probably the most massive, largest section of practically any thrift store in America. So when you have a ton of abundance of a specific item or category, you're gonna find opportunities. And that's the common theme amongst the three categories I'm gonna share in terms of the top three niches I believe to get started, get started in when selling on eBay and going to thrift stores. So number one is clothing. Number two is toys. So many toys at thrift stores. Now, a lot of people, I feel like out of clothing, out of toys, and the last one I'm gonna share with you, I feel like toys is probably one of the biggest opportunities because a lot of people know about clothing, right? A lot of people know about clothing. We all wear it. You know, we live in a society where a lot of people are very materialistic. We know the brands, we know what's worth money. And a lot of people that work at the thrift stores know as well. Again, with abundance, you're gonna have things that fall through the cracks, but toys are amazing because, you know, especially if you're not a parent, you're not gonna have any idea what, what these toys are. And there's so many different opportunities for toys out there. Matter of fact, I've had my good friend Vinny who scaled his business to over $7,000 a month and he works a full-time job. He's doing this part-time, 7,000 a month selling toys on eBay. He's released a whole bunch of guides, toy brand profits, top secret toys. I think we've featured it maybe 10 or 20 times on my channel. I'll put links to all that down below. I'm not a toy expert, so I'm not gonna sit here and dive deep into this topic. I just know based on my friend Vinny, who's one of my best friends and a couple of my colleagues, they're crushing it with toys. And toys I just feel like is a great opportunity because people just don't know much about them unless you're a parent, and even if you are a parent, there's so many other items out there in the toy category that can make really good money. So number one, clothing, number two, toys. And last but not least, books. There are so many books at thrift stores. Now I'm gonna tell you from experience traveling the entire country, going to hundreds of thrift stores, not every thrift store is going to have profitable books. It's really gonna be 
depend upon your demographic, where you live. If you live near universities, if you live near colleges, if you live in like a higher income area, you're typically going to have a better opportunity, you know, finding undervalued books, especially textbooks. I love flipping textbooks. And uh, a lot of the books that I sell, I sell them on Amazon, but also along with books, I would just say media in general, DVDs. Matter of fact, my good friend just found a complete DVD set. It was Three's Company. I believe it was Three's Company. And um, that's going for over $250 on eBay, just that set of DVDs, which is absolutely huge. Now you could find, depending on the prices, some thrift stores you can get books for 49 cents, 99 cents, a dollar or two. A lot of times they're cheap and you can buy sets of books. Sometimes you can find a whole set, like the other day we found a whole set of Goosebumps and I think we paid $7.99 for it on eBay. We're gonna easily be able to sell it for $79.99 because there's a huge set of them. Tons of opportunities with books, with DVDs, CDs. A lot of the media stuff in the books, I like selling more on Amazon, but still a huge opportunity to flip these items on eBay if you're not selling it, if you're not selling on Amazon. Now, Amazon's typically gonna get higher prices and you're gonna flip them quicker, but you can make money selling books on eBay. Matter of fact, just type in selling books on eBay into YouTube. I've got an interview with one of my good friends from, I believe he's from Australia, who's crushing it doing um, flipping e uh, books on eBay. So there's definitely an opportunity there Again, the three common themes amongst toys, clothing, and books is they are in abundance at thrift stores. So when you start finding a ton of a specific product within a category, things are gonna fall through the cracks, there's gonna be opportunities, and if you spend your time learning and you build up the experience and you spend time going through the sold listings, you can become a master in a niche and you can dominate it, you can crush the competition, but it takes time, it takes money, it takes experience, but those are the top three niches that I would focus on. Toys, clothing, and books. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Drop what you believe to be your favorite niche that you would recommend to a beginner. Would love to see and hear what you say in the comments. With that being said, have an amazing day. Keep on picking and making that money, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.